Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to talk about raising sheep. Uh, sheep are the easiest animal in farming Sim 17 aside from chickens. Um, unfortunately, they've nerfed them quite a bit. They don't make as much money as they used to, but we're going to deal with that. Uh, so what we have here is the equipment that you need to start with. Um, and I'm using no mods once again because I try to make this you know compatible for people that are also on console. So if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, all of these things should work for you. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need is a water tank. Your sheep will need to drink water. Um, the second thing that they're going to need is grass and lots of it. So you need a mower, and I would suggest a collecting wagon. You could do baling, but it's much easier. It's much easier to um, use a collection wagon and then just store store the grass that you've mowed in there. That way you don't have to deal with buying a, a silo to store it, and you don't have to worry about trying to collect bales and all that stuff. The easiest way to do is just to mow and collect. You don't even have to windrow. Um, so this makes life really easy to get the food for the sheep. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a small tractor. Uh, I would recommend the T5-120. In this video, that's what we're using. This has enough horsepower to mow and collect at the same time. Uh, there's several tractors that you could use, but make sure that you pick one that has both the front harness and the back three-point harness. Because if you don't have both front and back, you will not be able to mow at the same time as you collect, and that's going to take you a lot longer. You're going to have to make two passes. So... I would recommend, in fact, let's take a look at the store real quick here, and we'll take a look at some of the tractors that you could use, potentially. Um, the Valtra does, the, the uh, Fiat does not have a front attacher. The, the Valtra does not. The Fent Favorite's another good option. Um, that one has both front and rear, and has a decent amount of horsepower. The base model has 115, so you got plenty to work with. Uh, we have the New Holland T5, the Lintrac 90. This does not have enough horsepower, and I don't know that it can be upgraded. I guess you could try it with 100. Uh, T5, once again, with 100, you could do um, Massey Ferguson 5600 also works. The Fent 300 Vario and the Vulture N series will work, and that's it for the non-mod tractors. But all of those tractors are fairly affordable. Once again, the T5 is a really good price, even with the horsepower upgrade. Um, it's not too expensive. So $92,000 keeps it as one of the lower price new tractors. But you could also go with the Fent. Uh, if you want to save even more money. I just like that New Holland Blue. So uh, you'll need a set of arms, obviously, to pick up the pallets. We have this huge trailer here. I don't like this Flegel trailer, but it's the only option we have if we're not using mods. Uh, we can use this to move the pallets around to the uh, sale point once we're done. But, I, you know, this thing's kind of flaky. It works, but it's kind of flaky. Over here... We have another option. Uh, this is the cotton trailer. Uh, what this does is this picks up a single bale of cotton. However, it also seconds as a normal trailer. You can throw things on here. It does not have tie downs, so you have to be careful when you're driving that you don't accelerate too quickly or brake too quickly because the things will slide off. But you could easily put four or six uh, pallets of sheep wool on here and, um, and transport them to the store. You can either use a tractor or like I have it hooked up to a pickup truck here. Um, but this actually works fairly well, and it's kind of a no-fuss method, whereas this guy, like I said, this tends to be a little bit flaky. Sometimes when you open and close it, stuff goes flying out the top. I don't really love the Flegel trailer, but uh, it is an option. Once again, this is the cheaper one. And if we go into the store, um, we're going to see real quick here. Under trailers, under cotton technology, well, I guess they're the same price. This is $25,000 for the Lizard. If we look at the bale trailer... The Flegel trailer is $26,000. Now, if you're into mods, probably the best of all three is going to be this DPW-180. The DPW-180 is the cheapest of the three, and it also has tie-downs, so when you're hauling around your pallets, they won't slide off. But this thing, it's pretty hard to get the pallets to fall off because you have lips on all three sides except for the back. So just accelerate slowly and carefully, and then once you're underway, you should be fine and you're not going to lose as long as you keep them one high. If you start stacking pallets on top of each other, things may go flying out the back. Um, but I would say just fill this up and then go to the store. Every time you have six pallets, you can go to the store and deliver those. So that is the equipment set that you need. The other thing that you're going to need is a large grass field. Um, if you want to feed the sheep properly, you're going to need a field. Um, so let's go ahead and tour the sheep facility. It's very simple. Uh, the first thing that we have is this is the spot where the pallets will come out. They arrive here, and you're just going to pick them up with the forks and put them on the back of the wagon. Um, I think with the larger facility, you can hold up to four bales. With this being the smaller facility, you can only do, I think, three maybe at a time or two. This will fill up, and then you need to move them off. 
The second spot here is where we put the grass to feed them. Uh, you'll just dump it in there. The reason why we need a front loader, you'll also need a shovel. Uh, I forgot to show you that part, but we're going to need a shovel. Or you can use a collection wagon to clean it up, but the sheep are going to make messes while they eat. So every day you're going to need to either shovel this up and put it back in the bins, or you're going to take your collection wagon, and I'll show you how to do that. You just simply run it over and then dump it back into the grass or keep it in the collection wagon. Um, last but not least, we have this section here where the water goes in. Um, now, we can purchase sheep directly or we can get them from an animal dealership. So here is the direct purchase area. Uh, I'm gonna press the left button on my, my joystick, like the left joystick gets clicked in, and that brings up the menu. Uh, you can also use the R button on the keyboard if you're on PC. Um, but here you can see we have all these different types of sheep that we can buy. We've got all white, <laughs> brown, black and white, and black. And uh, they're all the same, it doesn't matter which type you get, but you can mix and match them as you please. If I go to buy a sheep manually through here, there's a $100 transport fee per sheep. Now, what I would recommend is a little bit of strategy here. I would buy, uh, we have 80 sheep. I would buy 60 to start with. And then I would allow them to reproduce up to 80. Sell off 20, let them reproduce up to 80, sell off 20. With that restocking fee of 100 bucks per sheep, it's not really that bad. Um, so I would recommend not bothering with the animal trailer uh, because the animal trailers are expensive um, and the fee over time, yeah, you'll make the money back, but the fee is really not that bad to buy and sell the sheep. But if you must, you can always buy an animal trailer. We have this Wilson trailer here on this attached to the semi and we're gonna load the sheep this way. I'm gonna buy, we can have up to 60 sheep. So we're gonna go into the truck. Basically you pull into this area here by the animal dealership. And every farm, sh every map should have an animal dealer. Some of them may not. You might just have to buy them direct. But if it does have an animal dealership, you've got this right here. We're going to click the left joystick once again, and we're going to go in. You can buy pigs, sheep, all kinds of animals. I'm going to fill this. This trailer holds 36 animals, so we'd have to make two trips. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to fill this up, and we'll be back. All right, so we've filled up the trailer with our sheep. You can see inside the trailer there we have livestock upstairs and downstairs as this is a two level trailer and I'm going to make my way back to the farm with the 36 odd sheep that I have but I still need uh 28 36 uh, 14 more sheep to get 60 I believe uh, I'm not math was never my strong point I'll see you back at the farm all right, I have arrived back at the farm with the livestock trailer you can see since I drive for Swift I am parked on the wrong side of the road and I'm backing up here. Poor Swift drivers, they do get the brunt. This has this place is not very well suited for this. Uh, I didn't bottom the trailer out though, so we're good. Uh, I have parked the butt of my trailer into the livestock pen area. In real life, you'd actually want to line up with that gate, which I don't know what will happen because of the weird landscape that I made here. I should have lowered this pen down into the ground a bit. Um, there we go. So in real life, that's how you would do it. And I'm gonna have to press the uh, right joystick or left joystick, and that will bring the sheep here, and I'm just going to click A until they're all moved into the pen. And just keep clicking. I wish you could do them all at once, but... And then press X. And the sheep are now in the pen, so we got 36 sheep in the pen. We still need 14 more to make it a, a nice round 60 sheep. Um, and then once again, I would let them reproduce. Once we have them full up, we'll see what the reproduction rate is. So that you know every couple hours you're going to get a baby sheep. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going to go here now. We're going to order the rest so you can see that method too. And I'm going to order, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we got 14 more sheep. I'm going to confirm that. So if I look in my animal health menu by pressing start, I go up to the cow at the top and I can see that in my pasture I have 10, 20, 29, wait a minute, <laughs> what did I do wrong? 30, wait, 10, 20, 29, 30, how did that happen? Maybe it holds less sheep than I thought. I thought I had 36 sheep, but it didn't. So I'm short sheep. Let's go ahead and get it up to 60. Um, so we're going to do two more of these. So now I got 40, and I got, uh, let's see, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So we got 60 sheep now. I'm going to confirm that. There was $2,200 of a delivery fee there. So know that every 20 sheep we're going to be paying, I think, a th mm. let me think about this. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's 2000 bucks every 20 sheep. So you're going to pay $2,000 in delivery fees every time you sell the 20 sheep, but you're going to make a decent profit, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you really want to use the trailer, you can. Uh, there's all kinds of animal trailers available, but that, I just wanted to show you that so you could see it. So now, if we go into our menu, we now have 60 sheep, 15 of each. So we're good. Uh, so the sheep are going to need food, water, and we have to keep them clean. Those are the three things that we need to worry about. So let's go ahead and do the food portion now. It's really simple. I'm going to take my little tractor, and I'm going to drop off all the pieces, parts that I have here. So we'll put the arms here, and I'm going to put the weight over here. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to pick up the mower. And I am going to grab over here this loading wagon that we were talking about earlier. And once again, the loading wagon serves all of our needs for these sheep. So you just need to buy a loading wagon and keep it set aside for the sheep. I wouldn't have multiple loading, you know. I would, If you're going to do a loading wagon for cows or whatever, I would keep them separate. I would just have one for this and then one for the, the cows. Just keep them separate. And factor it into your cost. So we're going to mow. And it's this simple. <laughs> we're collecting food for the sheep. It will take some time. If you want to get fancy and you want to get a big mower and get a wind rower and then collect with the collection wagon after you've done that, you can do it that way. But I'm just trying to show you the most basic level that we need here. And once again, this will take a while to do, but we're going to fill this up and um, it's just a simple task. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this wagon up and we will be right back. Now you'll see here, I'm traveling at six miles per hour. This, if you want to spend more money <laughs> I'm trying to show you the base equipment that you need to do this, but if you want to go and spend a little bit more money on a medium tractor, that may be the best way to go because as you can see here, uh, this tractor is really, even on flat ground, we got a little bit of a rise going on here and this tractor can barely pull this equipment at the speed that I'm pulling it at. So uh, you may want to consider something a little bit larger, like a T6 would be good or one of the, the case tractors, um, but make sure it can have arms. That's a big thing. So. All right, so I have arrived back at my the feeding trough. Here you can see here on this side is where the feeding trough is over by the building. It's the one that does not have the tall sides on it. It's, it's open on one side, and I've crashed into the building because I suck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unload this here. Once again, you could use hay bales or grass bales. You can also feed them hay. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, grass is a lot easier because you don't have to tet it. Um, you could, once again, use the baling method, but I don't particularly think you need to do baling for this, honestly. Um, because then you have to store the bales and you have all these other things you got to deal with. So if you want to fill it up all the way, you can. It's not going to hurt the sheep not to be filled up all the way. They still will be at 100% productivity uh, if the if the pen is not or if the feed is not all the way full. But you can see here they have uh, with that one trailer load for 60 sheep, they're almost all the way full of grass. So you know it doesn't require that much grass to do it. So you don't need a huge field of grass. You just need some grass to feed them enough that you can fill that trailer up once or twice. Um, if the pen is full, I'm going to say you're going to need about 36,000 liters. So you'd need like a, um, a trailer and a half full of grass. And that's not that much. So let's go ahead and get the water. Um, and so that I'll use the pickup truck to do that. There's two places you can go. Every map has a water source. Like on Estancia La Pacha, there's a big tower on the farm that gives you water. Um, here on the American map, it is uh, down by fields 24 and 25. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and run down there. But you don't, the other big thing, and honestly, it's much easier uh, if you build one of these. And we'll go ahead and, this already had water in it. <laughs> um, over here, I have built this water cistern. That water cistern that you see ahead there is green. It costs $5,000, uh, which is fairly inexpensive. And it just sits on your property and you can get water. You can fill your water tray up from this. So I would recommend doing one of these because it, it saves you the hassle of having to drive all over the place to get water. Uh, but anyway, that's that's there for you. But personally, I would build one of those because it's much easier than tra having to travel all the way to where the water is. Let's go ahead and drive there, though, so I can show you where it's at on the map. We'll be right back. All right, so we've arrived at the water depot. Uh, I have pulled my trailer next to the water. This is the, the 
Each map looks a little bit different. Some of them have water towers. This one's got this water thingy. On the USA map, you can see here that it is between fields 19, 24, 25, and 26 down there in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm going to hop in the pickup truck. We're going to fill that up. And you can see if I press the left joystick button, you can also press the R key, and it just fills up. Um, if you have the menu open, it'll tell you you can trigger it by start filling or unloading. Um, but I don't have the menu. When I drive away, watch. See, it disappears. Um, so we can no longer fill now that we're away. But... Uh, we filled up the water trailer, so I'm going to drive back to the farm and show you how to actually put the water in with the sheep. All right, so we have arrived back at the farm, and I am going to pull in to this area here. This is where you're going to park, uh, put the water that you've collected. Once again, I, stu I still recommend the cistern because it takes like five minutes to get there and back, so you're about 15-minute drive, 10-minute drive. It's much easier just to do this. Now, the sheep, with this many sheep, we probably are going to need a couple... Um, rounds of water the good news is once again because i'm so close to my cistern i can just drive over there and get more um let's take a look here and the water is free so there's not a big deal about getting water um so if i look at my sheep pasture they have about two-thirds of the water that they need so we'll just run over here to the cistern and i'll show you how to do that um once again i have the menu open you can see when the trigger triggers anywhere around the, the cistern will trigger it you can see there it goes up oh, Boom, start filling, left joystick button. I'm going to fill it up. So we're going to get the rest of the water that we need for the sheep. And then we're just going to leave this this water trailer right there parked so that the sheep um, will just have access to the water. As I need to, I can f unload more water into the the uh, bin there. Um, but once again, when we get 20 sheep, I'm going to sell those 20 sheep for a profit. Uh, and I'll just keep 60 sheep on hand. You can use the same strategy for the larger sheep pen. I, I just chose the smaller one because it's easier to demonstrate with. But... Um, the larger one, I'd say maybe do like, what is it, 200 sheep? So you could do like 150. And what is the larger one? Let's take a look real quick. I don't remember. The larger pen is, let's see, sheep enclosure, doghouse. All right, the large sheep pasture holds 250 sheep. So I'd say, you know, do 200 sheep. And then every time you reach 250, sell off the um, 50 extra sheep and you'll make a bunch of money. So here we go. Let's get the rest of the water in there. And I will go ahead and overload here. So we're going to load all that water in. And we should have a little bit left in the trailer once it's done. So there we go, 2,600. So we're going to go ahead and just park it there. And we should be all good. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time now. And uh, we'll wait to the point where we have some uh, pallets of wool, and then we'll take those pallets down to market so you can see how to sell them, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see you in just a minute. All right, so we are going to clean out the pen. Uh, I've waited tw about 12 hours. We're not ready to take stuff down to the shop yet because I want this to get all full so we can see how much money a full packet is. But you can see here the sheep have made quite a mess. So what we do is we run our loading wagon over the mess that they made. It's really easy to do this. Osa showed me how to do this. Uh, with the, the loading wagon, and I'm going to finish up right here because I missed a little spot. Um, and then once we reach the end, I shut the loading wagon off, and I simply unload it, and it dumps back into the sheep pen. And they'll continue to make messes. That you Every day you're going to have to do that. But you don't need a shovel because you can just use that to pick it up and throw it away. So always leave a little space in your loading wagon for that to happen. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and keep waiting here. I'll probably wait another day or two to get the sheep to the point where they are... Um, They've produced a bunch of stuff for us. But if you look in the menu, too, real quick here, we'll look at the animal health. Uh, we've still got plenty of grass, plenty of water, plenty of hay. So there's no big problem with the uh, with the sheep right now and the amount of food that they have. So we can just wait a couple more days, and we should have plenty of grass. So every six days, you're going to have to fill it up with grass. It's not that hard. Once again, they're very easy animals. Also, we should take a look at the reproduction rate. I forgot to do that. Um, so every 64 hours, we get an animal the next one will be in 40 so we still have uh only 60 sheep so every couple days we're going to get another sheep uh 64 hours is going to be like two and a half days so not a big deal but once again after after some time of running a farm you will have extra sheep that you can sell um all right so i'm going to go ahead and fast forward keep fast forwarding time and we'll wait till this gets all full up and then i'll take all four of these pallets down and we'll see how much they're worth 
All right, so in the middle of the night, we filled up all the way with the sheep. Uh, there is no more space. I keep getting messages saying there's no more space at the uh, f for pallets, and so that's a good news thing. Uh, that means we are done. Boy, this placement was pretty bad. Um, that we're done uh, waiting for the pallets. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load these on to the red trailer. Once again, I feel like the red trailer is easier to use than the Flegel. You could use the Flegel, but I just particularly like the red trailer better. So there we go. We dumped it. And let's go ahead and go over here. And I'm going to grab these all of my pallet stuff. Um, and besides, it's almost a capacity issue. Uh, with that red trailer, it's going to hold about four pallets. And so uh, I don't really need the huge Flegel. Uh, the red trailer, once again, is just it's easier for the tractor to pull. It's easier to get things on and off of it. But if you crash, it is going to go all over the place. So... All right, so I've got the trailer in position. I'm going to go ahead and grab the, the four pallets that we have and start moving them off. So once again, after a couple days, we'll start getting more sheep. But same thing for the cows. Once again, with the cows, with the TMR, uh, if you don't use TMR, you will not get cows. And that's thanks, that's a tip thanks to Moni. Um, but the cows do not uh, reproduce fast unless you give them TMR. So... They've got to have the TMR in order to get fast reproduction rates. So I'm going to go ahead and load, continue loading these onto that uh, wagon. And then we will go ahead and take it down to the shop. You, I think you have to take the weight off the tractor to get the wagon to hitch. So um, you might want to just use a pickup truck. Or you could, you know, obviously take the tractor apart and take it down. But um, I think that the trailer is low enough that we won't have to um, pull these off. I think they'll just unload by themselves. But we'll find out. So I'm going to go ahead and keep loading. I'll be right back. All right, so we are uh, finishing up here. Uh, we have four pallets on the back. You can see this trailer probably could hold at least two more on the back there. I don't know if I would put four more on, but you could do it. I mean, I've seen people do stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab this, and we're going to take it to the spinnery is where the wool goes. So let's take a look on the map. And I believe on this map, the spinnery is across from field 18. Let's take a look here. All right, so our on our map here, for some reason, all my stuff's turned off. Let me turn the filters back on. There we go. Um, so we have the spinnery, which is, let's see, right there. Oh, and there's some kind of great demand. So uh, I'm going to highlight that on the map here so we can see where it's at. If we go to here, we can click double-click on the spinnery, and it's going to mark it. And so now I know where it is, but you'll see on the map, if you look around, there's going to be a green tower rising up from the spinnery which is over there however that may not be the best way to get there we'll try to get there though this there's a back road that goes down a hill a pretty steep hill it's a good opportunity to see if things are going to fall off the trailer while we do this so let's find out all right i'm making my way down the road less traveled here you can see it's kind of a narrow path here but we're doing okay the the bales haven't gone anywhere if you need to shore them up you can always thump into a tree like this, and it'll bring them all to the front like that. See that? <laughs> it snaps them all in. In real life, you wouldn't want to do that, but it gets them all in the place. And the nice thing is, once again, because there's that lip around the edge of the trailer, they're not, unless you're backing into stuff and crashing, you're not going to lose them very easily. So they stay on pretty well, and you don't really need the straps. Uh, if you're going to flip the trailer over, then that's a different story, but... If you're a careful driver and you're paying attention to what you do, this trailer works just fine. And I'm, I like it much better than the large Flegel trailer. So, once again, even with all the bumping going on, the, the pallets stay on. So, let's go ahead and pull in here. This is where we're going to sell these. And uh, we are almost there. So, I am pulling in here. And you can see they already are not selling at all. So, I think I have to actually drop them. Uh, one thing that we can try, and this trailer does dump, but I don't think they're going to come off. No. So we are going to have to hand unload these. Uh, and we ran into this problem before with uh, some of the other items that we were selling, the eggs and stuff. Uh, but they have to come off then. So let's go ahead and... Here's the one issue that you're going to have. <laughs> Once we get them on, you're going to have to push them to the other side so that you can get under them. So we have to come from a bit of an angle to get the... to get the forks down over them. There we go. And each, see they start to sell pretty quickly, so 
Uh, I want to get a whole pallet in there. I screwed up. They're just over $1,000 a pallet, though, so... Let's get this next one in here. I want to get a whole one in so you can see it. There we go. So $1,200 per pallet. So that's not too bad, but it does take... That was two days of waiting to get those. So we got we got a total of about $5,000 for the pallets. Um... And uh, so, I mean, it's $5,000 with 60 sheep every two days. Not a very good return on your investment, but let's see. The horses are 10 days for $50,000 a horse. Um, so the sheep are making $5,000 every two days, which is going to be $25,000 over... Um, a 10 day period. So the horses make twice as much. So once again, that's a little bit of economy for you, but you know, it's not a bad deal. Um, and if you get 80 sheep, then you're going to be producing a little bit faster. If you get the 250 sheep, you'll be producing these way quicker, but it is not the money maker that it used to be in farm some 15 and 17. I think in 17, it was about $14,000 a pallet. Uh, so we have really been nerfed on the amount of money that you make for the sheeping. But anyway, that is, Neither here nor there. The whole point was this video is to show you how to do the sheep, kind of a complete guide. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, and learned a lot about how to take care of your sheep. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on my channel on Farming Sim 19. Have a great night. Bye.